Hello everyone, my name is Art from Art Lights, and here is a short demo of my Minimapper plugin. The plugin helps you to quickly set up your MIDI device to control the faders and buttons of the Grand MX3. The setup is simple. Just extract the files from the zip file to the root of a USB drive. You can mix the files with any files that are already on the root of your USB drive inside of the Grand MX3, empty plugin and import, then go to the USB drive and get the AART loader plugin. You don't have to load the MIDI XML plugin. So we import this one and we close it. Then run the AART loader plugin and we will get a macro that is called MIDI Mapper. This macro will launch your MIDI Mapper plugin. The plugin always will be on the USB drive, so remember that you will always need the USB drive for it to work. When we start the plugin, we get a costume menu that holds all the buttons and faders of the Grand MX3 full size. Here in the lower left part is the control of the plugin itself. In the first button up here, we can choose our MIDI device. The second button we can use to choose the MIDI channel this device is using. We just move a fader and in the third button we can see what fader we are moving. Now we just move a fader, we hit a control where we want to connect it. I'm going to connect the button of this fader to the button of this executor. Then I have some encoders up here and that I want to connect to the encoders of the Grand MA3. So I connect, for example, the first three encoders. My encoders are clickable and I want to connect them to the feature groups of the Grand MA3 created some special buttons for the feature groups and the third one I want to connect to the color feature group. Then the button down here, let's connect this one to the clear button. So now my setup is ready and I leave the plugin and now I can use my fader to control the Grand MX3 executor. I can also use my toggle button and put down the fader. I can change the toggle button to another type of button. So I can change it for example to a flash button. We can see that the color of the button changes because the color is a sign for every type of button. Now I use it as a flash button. When I select my spots and I can use my encoder to move the encoder dimmer. I can, I can press my second encoder to go to the position and I can change the position. Finally, I can use the lower button to clear. 